What's good, what's good, and welcome back to Investing with Jax. If you get any value out of this video, please smash that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications if you're new. Uh, so we're gonna be talking about Storm X. Um, Storm X is, sh is showing bullish signs towards an upward trend. We can see this cup and handle pattern here, which we'll get into a bit later. Um, so we're going to go over some very basic technical analysis, a little behind the scenes with Jax, and then my predictions for mid-April, the end of April, and for mid-May for our good friend Storm X. All right, guys. So on the day, uh, Storm X is up 15%, seeing a little bit of recovery here. On the seven day, we're down 6%. On the month, uh, we're up over 500%. Very nice. We had that pretty significant dip, um, but we'll talk about that. And then on the three month, we're up almost 2,500%. Absolutely insane. Um, so the market cap for Storm X is 632 million. We have a 24 hour volume of 65 million and a circulating supply of 8.41 billion uh, coins of Storm X. So Storm X aims to create a blockchain based gamified micro task marketplace uh, that enables users to earn by Storm ERC 20 tokens by completing different tasks. All right, guys, so it's very cool. Basically an online shopping uh, application where you earn crypto so the easiest way to earn crypto no complicated crypto jargon just sign up shop and start your crypto cashback journey i have stormx on my phone i use it when i buy things off aliexpress so <laughs> shop and get paid yes you read that correctly it's really that simple just shop as you would normally at our 750 plus available shops and receive up to 87.5 percent crypto cash back uh, but how? So you download the app, you shop, you earn crypto, and then you go crypto. That's it. Once you've earned $10 or more, uh, you can withdraw your rewards to any uh, compliant crypto wallet. All right, guys? So they have over 750 stores. Nike, Lego, we have DoorDash. They also have Wish and um, AliExpress, amongst many others. All right, guys? So we can see their partners here. Um, and that's pretty much it for the website. So let's hop over to this technical analysis. So here's a buy rating on TradingView, guys. Very reputable day trading website. So on the one day, we're sitting in a buy. Uh, moving average is strong buy. On the one week, still sitting in a buy. Moving average is strong buy. Uh, so let's get into this basic technical analysis here. So we can see that cup and handle pattern. Um, that's a very good sign when you see a dip and then you see a handle, a cup and handle, a bullish shine towards trending towards um the upward so what i would like to see with with storm x as you can see here on the four hour chart um you can see that cup and handle pattern now we have a resistance a resistance line of 0 0.81 um, that we've tested we've tried to break through that resistance but we failed and we tested it again but then we we sold off again so if we can break through that resistance at 0 0.81 0 0.081 and then we can turn that resistance into support and start trending back upwards and hopefully retest the high of 0 0.094 let's look at it right here on the seven day chart uh, the high right here of 0, 0.0 what is it on here it's hard for it to stop 0 0.099 was the high over the last week um, so if we can find that support if we can break through that resistance at 0 0.081 and turn that into support we could t continue to trend upwards now on the rsi um, we're currently sitting at 50 on the four hour which is a great sign and on the one day we're sitting at 57 so that's a that's a pretty healthy rsi and as you can see with the rsi um, when we're in the low 50s and 40s we start trending back upwards um, and, the, and the MACD is showing that we might see that reversal and start trending back upwards. All right, guys. So as I said here, let me zoom in on here. Um, keep your eye on Storm X to break through 0 0.081 through that resistance and turn it, turn it into support. And then we can start trending back upwards. And uh, for Storm X, start trending back to the upside and hopefully break through that high and set a new all-time high for storm x all right guys so let's get into my predictions here so i had predicted for the middle uh, was there any news for storm x i don't believe so on their twitter let's quickly look it up storm x twitter i don't believe there was any news recently april 1st 
13 uh, yeah nothing big recently for storm x on their twitter uh, which is okay anyone <laughs> anyone easy anyone else eagerly awaiting their storm x pay today we have mr spongebob one of my favorite cartoons of all time i still watch it all the time especially on weekends sunday great day for spongebob anyways not important um so in my last video i predicted 10 cents for mid-April now I would like to see us um so I'd like to see us break through that uh, resistance and turn that into support at 0 0.81 uh here for Storm X 0 0.81 where is 0 0.81 sitting right here and turn that into support and start trending back upwards so I'll I'll keep my my uh prediction of 10 cents by mid-April and 15 cents by the end of the month hopefully much more depending on uh, if we get that 24-hour volume to increase and we start to see that beautiful uptrend as we can see here over the last month with storm x uh, the chart is gorgeous and we had that we had that significant dip which is healthy i don't think there's anything wrong with that at all at all little cup and handle and start following this trend back upwards through april and hopefully reach 15 cents uh, by the end of april and hopefully 20 cents by mid-may uh, obviously very hard to predict that far ahead but 10 cents for mid-april and then going into uh, 15 cents for the end of april and hopefully 20 cents by mid-may for our friend storm x guys i highly recommend checking out the app uh, i'm not sponsored but the app is very cool they have many stores and uh, you make a little purchase and you receive a little cash back in crypto which is pretty cool all right guys so a little update on the cat milo still resting we might have to take uh him to the vet because he's been resting for hours and hours a day and usually he's jumping off the walls um he got caught under a heat vent and we're kind of worried that he might have hurt one of his muscles or his bones or something like that so we're hoping we're going to take him to the vet and get it all all solved but unfortunately we're in the red zone here in canada or in my part of where i am in canada it's called the red zone because of covid and everything's closed uh, so we're hoping the vet will open back up so we can take mr milo i'll show you him he's here on the bed he's resting here this is kind of like the little storage room hey milo he's just resting so we're hoping that um oh no i'm, I'm a vlogger uh, we're hoping that we can get him to the vet and hope everything's okay with him so just wish him well i'll keep him in your prayers um because you know we love him we don't want anything bad to happen to him all right guys so if you enjoyed the video smash that like button subscribe turn on notifications if you're new um join the discord if you'd like and follow me on instagram too up to you all right take care much love bye bye mm -hmm.